The Thornton McFerrin Coaching Academy proudly presents the Three Minute Drill. This is a podcast that will bring you individuals from a variety of athletic experiences. We've asked them to provide three minutes of their thoughts or advice on what is important for coaches and successful teams. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy today's episode. Okay, my name is Brian Polk, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer for the Texas High School Coaches Association. And um, I have 23 years of experience in public education, both as a coach and a teacher and athletic administrator. Um, I was a head football coach and athletic director for 11 years and became the associate athletic director at the UIL for six years before becoming the COO at the Texas High School Coaches Association. And, you know, some of the greatest advice that I think that I could give um, to new people getting into this profession is, is to, number one, be where your feet are and to understand that regardless of what your title is and, and what stature you may have, whether it's a, a, a junior high coach, an assistant coach at the high school, or, or you're fortunate enough early on to be a head coach at the high school level, that we all have the same opportunity to make a difference in young people's lives. And it does not matter what that title is. Um, so when you get into the profession, you know, we all have aspirations. We all have goals. At some point, you're going to want to be um, the head volleyball coach, the head basketball coach, the head football coach, maybe working your way into an athletic director job. But starting off, make sure to be where your feet are and, and, and be a sponge. Um, learn, learn from those coaches that have done it um, the right way and the wrong way. There's a learning experience in everything that, um, that you're going to come in, in front of. And, um, but, but stay there. Wake up every day with a positive mindset that at some point and every single day when you walk in that school building, you're going to have young people in front of you and you're going to have an opportunity to make an impression. And, and that impression needs to be a positive impression so that you have an impact on that person. And again, you can be the B team coach at the seventh grade level or you can be the athletic director at the high school. And you still have the same opportunity to have young people looking at you uh, with that title of coach to make a positive impact and an impression on them. Um, you know, the other thing I think I would say is, is the, the positive mindset. We're in a very, very tough profession. We're in a profession that, that young people need us. The reason I got into this profession was because of the impact that coaches had on my life. Um, I was a single parent, you know, came from a single parent home, um, you know, lived in a 900 square foot home with my mother and, and three siblings. And um, I, I was a turd at times and needed uh, to become, uh, you know, involved in athletics. And I had a couple of coaches grab a hold of me and get me on the straight and narrow. And uh, it's the reason that I'm here today. And I want to have that same impact on young people uh, because, you know, we're kind of, I hear this all the time, we're kind of the last cowboys out there. Um, coaches and, and young people in society and all the negativity that they see with social media and everything else going around the world. And we have got to be that positive light for those folks. For more information on the Thornton McFerrin Coaching Academy, please visit our website, coachingacademy.tamu.edu, or find us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at the Thornton McFerrin Coaching Academy or at Aggie Coaches. A big thanks to Dorothy McFerrin and her family for their support. Stay tuned for our next episode of the 3-Minute Drill.